Hello and welcome back to Photoshop Skills. My name is Gerald and today I'm going to show you how to select trees using Photoshop. So without wasting any time, let's begin. The best way to select trees is by using channels. So go ahead and click on channels. If you don't see this, you can click windows, then select channels. Now take note that this image is composed of three colors. That is the red, green and blue and in this case we shall be using the blue channel so make sure it's clicked then duplicate it by dragging it down here now you can go ahead and rename it you don't have to but just for the sake of being organized you can rename it so this is our selection now at this point when you take a look at the image you can see that we have bright pixels and dark pixels the bright pixels will be our selection and the dark pixels will be the opposite but as you can see brightness is all over the entire image and we don't want that so we shall limit the brightness using levels so click on image adjustments then click on levels or you could just type ctrl plus l on the keyboard then adjust the shadows to the right and you can also try messing around with the mid-tones then you can also adjust the highlights a bit to the left now take note that these values could be different depending on the photos you are using and you don't have to do it so much you don't have to get the perfect result here because you might end up frying the branches so let me make some more adjustments So this will be okay for now then go ahead and click ok now this is good but it wouldn't give us a perfect selection because we still have some dark pixels in the bright areas and we also have some bright pixels in the dark areas so what we shall do is grab the brush tool and change its mode to overlay now i want you to take note that we are using the overlay brush because it darkens the darker pixels when you're painting with black and it brightens the brighter pixels when you're painting with white and this will help us so much when we are painting the edges we don't have to struggle with it so reduce the flow of the brush to around 60 percent and then use the square brackets to increase the size of the brush and make sure your foreground color is white then you just paint on these white areas you see, you don't have to dodge the edges of the tree. Then next up, change the foreground color to black by pressing X. And then we are going to paint these areas of the tree with black. So you can see it's also not affecting the white areas. It's just affecting the black areas. So for these tiny tiny parts we can just take back the brush mode to normal and just paint it reduce the size of the brush and paint so when you're done Press and hold the control key and click on the thumbnail of the selection. Then click on the RGB channel and then click on the layers panel. Then you can go ahead and click on the layer mask button. So this will be our final selection, but you can see it's the opposite. So all we have to do is click on the thumbnail and then press control plus I to invert the selection. So you can see we have managed to cut out the tree. So you can go ahead and do anything you want, like replacing the sky. I have a sample sky here. You can just click the move tool and drag it over. 
yeah then you can press ctrl plus t to transform it then all you have to do is just drag it behind this layer of the tree then boom you have a new sky so if this video was helpful to you please give us your support by subscribing to the channel and also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up thank you for watching see you next time